In business, Bank of Maldives introduces mobile banking service. With the introduction of this service, customers can check the bill balance and the last four transactions from their account. Money transaction can be made from one account to the other using this service. The service can also be customized to receive SMS alerts for salary deposits and payment due dates on loans and credit cards. Official figures show that the United Kingdom's economy grew at 0.8% between July and September, suggesting the economy is recovering faster than expected. It follows 1.2% growth in the second quarter of the year and is double the 0.4% expected by analysts. Meanwhile, rating agency Standard & Poor's upgraded its outlook for the UK AAA credit rating. Chancellor George Osborne called both reports a vote of confidence in the new government's economic policies. The gross domestic product figure released by the Office of National Statistics is only a first estimate and may be revised. Analysts had expected a slowdown after weak retail sales and housing data. The construction sector continued to grow strongly at 4%. The data released from the ONS showed, although this was slower than the 9.5% recorded in the previous three months. The building industry has been dealing with a backlog of work that had been postponed from the beginning of the year due to bad weather. In sports, VB moves to the finals of President's Cup after beating New Radiant with four goals to nil. VB took the lead few minutes to the first half when a goal from, with a goal from Asad Ali. The second and the third goal was scored by VB's captain Ashfaq in the second half. The fourth goal was scored by Senzik Hussain. Supporters disrupted the game on Monday night for about 45 minutes and just after the last seven minutes of the game resumed, VB scored their fifth goal. Robinho and Zlatan Ibramovic scored as AC Milan beat 10 men Napoli on Monday to leapfrog into Milan and move into second place in the Serie A. With Ronaldinho out with a minor injury, Robinho received a rare start and put Milan in front in the 22nd minute after Massimo Otto delivered a pass to the wide open Brazil striker in the center of the area. Ibramovic doubled the lead with a header following another cross from Otto in the 72nd minute. And Ezequiel Lavezzi pulled one back for Napoli in the 78th minute on a rainy night at the San Paolo Stadium. Napoli was reduced to 10 men when midfielder Michel Pazinza picked up his second yellow card for a handball near midfield in first half at a time. Lazio leads Serie A with 19 points, Milan has 17 and Inter has 15. Napoli is tied for fifth with Juventus with 12 points each. Milan had been under pressure to bounce back after a 2-0 loss to Real Madrid in the Champions League last week. And now we take a look at the national weather update.